Hey guys, so welcome to my 12th Animal Zodiac Signs for 2023. If you are new to this, you may find other Animal Zodiac Signs posted in my channel. Feel free to watch them if you haven't already done so. So today, we're going to be talking all about the monkey in 2023. Before we go into today's 12th Animal Zodiac Sign, it's very important for you to find out which animal signs do you have in your parcel chart. And you can actually find them out through plotting your parcel chart through this URL here. And you can actually take your phone and scan on this QR code. Once you plot your parcel chart out, you will see something like this. And total, there will be four pillars with for animal signs. So, which means that in our parcel chart, there's more than one animal sign. So, if you are looking at the year pillar, whatever animal sign that falls in the year pillar, it represents your social network, your external surroundings. While if you look at the month pillar, as you can see, right, it refers to segments, area, and aspects in your career and business. While if you look more deeper into it, you look at your day pillar. Whatever animal sign that is inside your day pillar, that represents your spouse and also your physical health. While the last one at your hour pillar, it represents your children, staff, and investment. Basically, in 2022, monkey hasn't had the best time of all because basically 2022 is the tiger year and monkey is the clash and more sign for the tiger. So, not to worry because 2022, monkey has a great turnaround because as you can see in this star here, basically, the monkey has two stars out of five stars. Although it's a two star, but last year it's just one star. So you can see it is an upgrade from 2022. And out of all the 12 animal signs, it is rank number eight. So now let's find out why is 2023 a better year for the monkey. Right, now let's begin with the positive stars for the monkey in 2023. The first one I would really like to highlight is is on the monthly virtue star. Monthly virtue star is a great, great nobleman star. However, you know, there's many different types of nobleman star. This kind of nobleman star is basically a more short-term kind of nobleman, which also means that they are usually more helpful for short goals, right? So if you really want to use this nobleman star on top of you going out there and you say, I need some help, you might want to also focus on getting assistance that are more related to short-term goals, all right? So that's how the monthly virtue will be able to help you because they are more related into solving problems that are more short-term. So by actively doing that and focusing on short-term goals, this will be able to bring up new relationships which are helpful and supportive. The next one would be the Earth Relief Star. So basically, Earth Relief Stars, it means that... um problems that you are facing right now over the past can be relieved easily, especially like this year, 2022, right? If you are watching this in 2022, by the way, 2022 is a clash year for the monkey. Therefore, it does have a lot of problems that is lingering around, right? So in 2023, having the Earth Relief Star, it does means that a lot of those problems that you carry forward can actually be solved. But again, most importantly, just like how any other problems, in order for you to solve it, you really have to face it. You do not want to push it under the rug and do not want to just put it aside. To actively use any, any form of relief stars, you want to face the problem consciously and that is how problems can be solved. The next one would be the National Treasure. National Treasure is a star that represents um, promotion, uh, more responsibility and more title as well, which also means that you know, whatever hard work that you have put in place, uh, especially in 2022, you know, all the struggles, all the obstacles and all the problems you have solved, but, you know, potentially you may not see much effect or results. Don't worry, 2023 with the National Treasure Star, you will soon get the acknowledgement. You will get the validation soon. 
like I said, as long as you have done what you're supposed to do in 2022, which is this year, if you actually have worked very, very hard in 2022, and, um, you know, and with that, you don't get much acknowledgement and then still face a lot of problems, 2023 is where you will get validated soon. And again, with this star, you will have the ability to influence as well, means still get popular, all right? So the next one would be Tai Chi Nobleman. So Tai Chi Nobleman is uh, not like any other nobleman. Basically, Tai Chi Nobleman can appear in many different forms. Uh, it may appear as a form of quotes. It may appear um, as a conversation that you overheard at the next table. Or just some random person lightly drop certain sentence on in front of you, right? But the idea is that by having Tai Chi no Ben is the kind of help that will bring you to a form of awareness or the aha moment, you know, like a strike, a light bulb moment. Usually it's going to be something very wise and profound. So with Tai Chi no Ben, you know, it's a great time for you to be aware and be open-minded to actually listen to what people say and pay attention and connect the dots. And that's how you'll be able to use the Tai Chi no Ben. Let's look into the negative stars for the monkey in 2023. Well, the first one, as you can see, I put here will be the robbery star. So basically, this star indicates potential of being robbed. So when I mean by rob, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean always robbing your money. But it could be robbing anything that is valuable to you. It could be as simple as perhaps your product or your ideas, anything that may seem like an asset to you, right? So it's more than just about the money that it's going to be wrong. So by the way, it can also be as simply as someone uh, borrows money from you and do not intend to return, right? So that could be another form of Robbing as well, right? So it's, it's something that you can hardly expect. So this is something that you may want to uh, pay attention on because uh, it will somewhat happen and you just got to be mindful if that happens uh, just make sure that it is not something that uh, is really really expensive or something that you know something that you cannot undo all right so do pay attention especially when it comes to borrowing money to people all right so the next one would be the less consumer so basically these stars indicate another potential of financial loss, right? So as you can see, it's like the money flying off, okay? So it does also means that um, potentially you could be cheated or could be taken advantage of. And of course, you don't know about that. Um, that also implies that you have lack control in your own area of finances. As such, you need to be aware of your money matters and stick closely to your own budgets. Like really now, you want to have certain restrictions of budgets or if not certain uh, cash because you can only use your money if you have money, right? So you might want to be consciously putting the money at some places and, you know, if this money has to go up anyway, be more mindful with it. So you want to break the piggy bank for a good reason and give an ROI for it. You know, you want to reinvest perhaps into something before things actually happen to you. We all don't like surprises. So if you want to spend, might as well consciously spend and be wise about the spending. The next one would be the death charm. So it is a reminder basically not to neglect those who have been in your life for a very long time. Um, basically, why a death charm, as you can see, it's like a human with a lot of things in the mind. Death charm is usually means that the tendency for you to neglect others is very high because you are constantly distracted with all the other things in the world and get lost due to a lot of other temptations. Usually, it's related to the worldly matters, right? And you will get lost in terms of truly connecting with other people. So together with uh, the less consumer and the robbery star, of course, it does indicate more wealth loss. So now, let's move on to the key success in 2023 for the monkey. Well, the first one, of course, is to use your nobleman because, again, it is a very, very useful tool in 2023. And like I said, you want to face your remaining issues that was carried forward 
in 2022, right? Basically, assuming you're already 23, 2023, you want to solve the problems in 2022 and using your nobleman star, you'll be able to help and seek assistance from others to solve whatever issues yet uh, you're actually facing. So it's important. Every time when you want to use a nobleman star, guys, it's very, very important to not keep things to yourself. Try to meet like, like-minded people who would offer insights on improving careers, business, and wealth, you know, whatever problems you're facing, basically. Um, and the good thing is that this kind of nobleman star, right, what it does, it also bears uh, a lot of positive effect of mitigating a lot of uh, negative energy of the year, right? So it's also very important to gather with the relief star. A lot of things will dissolve if you truly look into it. The next one would be clarity, right? So basically, the strategy is clarity. If you're wondering how, basically, it does mean you need to practice a lot of mindfulness, right? So mindfulness, what does it mean? It means bringing a lot of consciousness right, uh, into your life. Uh, you do not want to just sail through the year without realizing a lot of how you feel, without not paying attention to the surrounding without not realizing what are the things that are happening to you. So with practicing clarity and mindfulness, it brings you to the present and allows you to find purpose. With that, you will be able to gain more clarity and become more focus in whatever you do in life, right? So you want to enjoy and recognize the present time in 2023. The next one, of course, uh, would be on the financial side. Uh, as you can see, with all the negative stars, it will impact a lot of the financial aspect. So you want to pay attention on your expenses. Now that we are still in 2022, um, maybe you want to plan on your expenses, right? Uh, whatever things that you intend to invest or whatever thing that you want to spend on since you have the spending star just make sure you spend on the right thing and basically uh spend wisely right and try not to over commit on things you are not ready to commit so guys this is all about the monkey in 2023 i hope you have taken some notes and also paid attention on certain things that you need to do and i will see you again in my next animal sign bye